What's up? It's your boy Gator Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool, man. I'm here with my boy. 10K crazy, the biggest. Ain't no telling him twice as he know me. Seeing this shit, you can say I'm a go getter. Say I like the big gun with the scope better. Stay with a big booty bitch, I'm a ho getter. 10K. You know what I'm saying? 10K, we're gonna get in some basic questions, you know what I'm saying? Some information about yourself, you know what I'm saying? So, first thing first, are you originally from Texas? Yeah, yeah, forward. Echo Heights, you feel me? Right on the edge of the east and forest till you feel me right there in the middle, forest though. Yo, big. So could you tell me about any of your early beginnings? Like uh, you know what I'm saying? I know we met uh a couple times before. I shot a lot of your videos, but uh let us know like your uh early beginnings, um, what got you into music, things like that. Shit. What really got me into music, shit, I really just I seen everybody else rapping on some shit and I just wanted to see what I sound like on some shit. Mm -hmm. So I, I did it, made me a little song. It blew up a little bit, so I just kept doing it. You know what I'm saying? I just kept kept doing what they wanted me to do. So, and it got me all the way here doing interviews, shooting hella shit. You know what I'm saying? Getting noticed. So, you see the shit. You see what's going on. Exactly. You feel me? You see what's going on. So, I just kept doing. It, you know what I'm saying? Why not? On some shit. So you staying consistent? You think that's a, a big thing that uh, is uh, pushing you right now, keeping your momentum, uh, your motion, if you will? Oh, my boy got that boy got action. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, do you think like staying consistent is the biggest key uh, for uh, young artists? Man, the thing about staying consistent is not only that you being consistent. But you gotta make sure your shit hard. Like you can't be dropping consistent bullshit. Yeah. If you know, you know what I'm saying. Like you can't keep dropping that trash shit. It's okay to switch up the flow. You know what I'm saying. A lot of people blow up off one flow, but go ahead and switch it up. You know what I'm saying. See my boy. Go, go, go ahead and switch it up. You feel me? But let me answer the phone real quick. Yeah, man. So my boy blowing up. As y'all can see, you know what I'm saying. It's real life. Motion in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? 10K has been hey, I made an uh, constantly shooting videos uh, with Anti Cloud Club, you know what I'm saying? I've been shooting them. But yeah, you've been constantly shooting them motherfuckers. Um, basically, what I want to know is like, what's your, what's your dream collab? What you're trying to get into? Like, uh, if you could get a single or a whole project with another artist, who would it be? Uh, the main artist that I really want to collab with, you know what I'm saying? And that's been sticking with me is really Sauce Walker, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. I like that 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 sample shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm old school, so all that sample shit and knowing that knowing the old school songs in the background, that that, you know what I'm saying? I like I like hearing that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? That nigga Sauce, he just different with it, you know what I'm saying? I don't think yeah. I don't think nobody else can really, you know what I'm saying, do what he do, you feel me? But yeah, I got I gotta get on a song with that nigga Sauce for sure. Do you think that Sauce Walker right now, because, uh, you know, like, recently he had some uh, opinions that people didn't like about, like, Drake, uh, you know what I'm saying, basically stealing the culture, which I do believe uh, in Houston there's only a couple artists that came or, like, stole all the swag. That's Future, Drake. Um, I think Famous Dex did the splash and drip shit, too. So I'm like, but that has always been Sauce Walker shit. Um, but Drake has constantly stole from Sauce Walker, Future, and a lot of other artists that I just can't even name because they not even hit my, hit my, you know, my dome right now. But the main three, you know what I'm saying? Those were the main three. If y'all go check out, um, Sauce Walker's one of the projects, you can see Drake head, Future head, and Famous Dick's head. Um, you know what I'm saying? They not showing their face, but he basically hinting that nigga stole the sauce, you know what I'm saying? Stole the methods, you feel what I'm saying? That shit ain't cool. So how you feel about thievery? You know what I'm saying? Thievery. Shit. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I I personally not had to go through some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas come and steal my flow, you know what I'm saying? Do all that other shit. But but I feel like with all that thievery shit going, you just gotta stand your ground. It's like niggas coming to take your shit, you know what I'm saying? So you just got to stand your ground and put your foot on these niggas' niggas. Like, this my shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, this me. Y'all can't take this away from me. I'm going to forever, you know what I'm saying, be above y'all because y'all coming to me mm -hmm. to be above me. So, you know what I'm saying? That mean I'm already above you on some shit. So, But but when when niggas do shit like that, I, I, try, I try to block that shit out, you know what I'm saying, and let the music speak for itself because cause at the end of the day, nigga, Drake and Sauce Walker, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they both rappers, and they both make music. Yep. So why not put that shit in the music, you know what I'm saying, and let the music speak for itself? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, that's all I got to say about this shit.
So basically, you just saying, say, stay consistent with yourself. Don't get into the competition because, you know what I'm saying, that's how you lose. If you just continuously keep doing um, what you're doing and sharpening your craft, they're not going to be able to keep up. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's what you're saying, right? Yeah. So shit, goddamn, uh, what do you think are, like, the keys? Like, what are your keys for, you know what I'm saying, consistency and, like, what keeps you motivated to keep uh, continue to make music? Shit, what really keep me motivated is... Like what keep me motivated is like watching watching big artists, mm-hmm. watching big artists in their music videos. Like, like the lifestyle is like the lifestyle they live in or they put off. All they would do is you know what I'm saying, wake up, shoot, and hide whenever and however you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and going about their day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like playing basketball. All you doing is playing basketball your whole life and you getting, getting paid. paid. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You getting paid off this shit. So it's like why not keep do- keep going and keep getting better? But shit. A nigga gonna stay consistent. You just gotta put your mind to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. By any means, handle your business, handle your responsibilities. And I know that fuck, fuck some people up. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, nigga, you, discipline. You, you at the end of the day, nigga, you popping cause your music. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? If you really about your shit or really about what you speak and really about, really about how you carry yourself, nigga, you gonna do that if you put your mind to it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Niggas get better when they put their mind to that shit. You know what I'm saying, but yo. Speaking of uh, you know what I'm saying, just the keys to consistency. Uh, I'm gonna move it over to basically like free game. We talked about Sauce Walker giving out the game, and people literally took it and ran with it. So, uh, would you sit down with Jay Z or would you take five hundred thousand dollars? Me personally, nigga, I'm gonna sit down with Jay Z for you know what I'm saying. It's enough money in the world. And it's gonna come to me, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? This shit gonna keep getting printed, so I'm not worried about the money. But I'm gonna sit down with Jay Z, and a, a nigga like me gonna listen, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a listen and take it, you know what I'm saying? Then go apply it to my craft, exactly. you feel me? Because nigga, you Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? You the best. You might not be the best in your eyes, but shit, you done made it to the top. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? What that that speak? It speak for itself, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'm gonna sit down with Jay Z to be honest. So you're going to sit down with Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I Last interview I had, the nigga said he's going to take the bread. He said, fuck the interview with Jay-Z. He said he fuck with Jay-Z, but he said basically, you know what I'm saying, he need the money. He said he want the money, you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with both answers. Either way, you know what I'm saying, you still going to put yourself on or you're going to get put on somehow, some way, you know what I'm saying? But I know, like, currently the the females are running the rap still. You know what I'm saying? We talked about that, I think, maybe, like, last year or some shit like that. Um, so if I could, you know what I'm saying, if you could have uh, your top five celebrity rap crushes for females, who would it be? My top five celebrity rap crushes? Yep. Females. You got to think about that, yeah. I had a nigga tell me Sexy Red, so that was, like, on one of his top three. Sexy Red. My, this this the list that it go in. I could put singers in there, too, or, or rappers. Yeah, singers, rappers. Shit, all right, the first... You know what I'm saying? I got scissors. I got scissors. I love the way she sings. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you like that shit. That shit smooth in the bitch. Yeah. I got scissors. That's my number one. My second, I got mulatto. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mulatto just young. Like she <laughs> coming at you with that shit. Like I, I fuck with that. My second, I mean my third. I probably got. My third. That's when shit start getting. It start getting a little weird, right? My here. third. Look, this my third. My third. I got Glorilla, and let me tell you why. Because, okay. because when she came into the game, you know what I'm saying. Everybody was woo woo saying this and that, this and that. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But they still listening to her shit, and she still popping. You know she what I'm saying. Hard. She hard. Hey, she hard in the bitch. Now number four. My number four is. Four is. I say, I'm gonna go ahead and put. I'm gonna go ahead and put Summer Walker in there. You know what I'm saying? Summer Walker. Summer Walker in there. Hey, my boy, my boy lost me on that one. He lost me on that one. Hey, she she hard in the bitch. You know what I'm saying? She's a good artist. But. I I I I be on some calm shit too. My number five. My number five. Shit. I'm gonna have to go with Sexy Red. But look, everyone put Sexy Red in their list. And I'm gonna. I haven't noticed. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it like this. Sexy Red like. Top the list off like it's it's set right there because nigga sexy red she don't give a fuck like you know what I'm saying 
and they still listening to her shit. I say again, nigga. Y'all can talk about her, woo woo. But one thing I like about Six Red, like she don't give a fuck. She still gonna do what she do, mm-hmm. and she still gonna pop her shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will let that media shit get in their head and don't want to do shit no more, nigga. Yeah. That, that mean you soft. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But easily, easily uh, molded. Yeah, you know easily saying? molded, nigga. You green. Persuaded. Persuaded. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the media. She still popping her shit, but yeah, that's my top five. They gonna stay there. Jesus Christ. All right, so you know what I'm saying. I, another thing I want to say about Six Red, if y'all haven't listened to Six Red, man, y'all go listen to them. Listen to the song, but really listen to the beat, cause she probably had the best pro, uh, producers I've done heard, or best beats I've done heard. Like niggas is missing beats like this. I don't know who the fuck passed on these beat, cause the beat cooking up. Yeah, they, motherfucker cooking up. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but shit, you know what I'm saying. Where would you want to perform? Like, what's what's the thing that's gonna be like the biggest success? Um, you know, like some people got Rolling Loud or Summer Smash with Cole Bennett and Lyrical Lemonade. Um, there's Coachella. What, what you know, what I'm saying what would be the thing that you think that uh would be the monument? Like you'd be like, damn, I done made it to this point, um, and I'm performing at, you know, what I'm saying, nigga, the Grammys. <laughs> nigga, the Grammys, nigga. And I'll be all. Everybody at the Grammys looking at you, damn near. At least some part of the point of the world, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But that's how it lies on you at the Grammys. If I perform at the Grammys, that means I'm young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the other shit. But shit on some shit. Really, to be honest, nigga, if I got all my partners with me, shit, we turning the shit up. We turning we turn the CD up. We turning wherever we, you know what I'm saying? Wherever we at, we up. All my day ones need to be with me, you know what I'm saying? When I make it to that point. And they, 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 they gonna be there, you feel me? So, yo. Yeah. Damn, my boy said he waiting to the Grammys. He said, I ain't holding, I ain't, he ain't holding out for nothing else. He said, for the Grammys, if it ain't for the Grammys, he don't want that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Grammys, you know what I'm saying? Hit my boy 10K up, he ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Get him on get him on stage, man. We need to hear that 10K shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, let me see what other question I can think of real quick right before we end it, you know what I'm saying? Uh... What's what's your uh, destination like? What, what's what's your end goal to all this music stuff? Um, where do you see yourself in like about five years? You know what I'm saying? Uh, with this music shit, you know what I'm saying? Life in general, whatever you feel. Um, but yeah, what what would you feel in five years? Where are you to be at? Shit, in five years, at the rate I'm going right now, in five years, and I'm gonna keep it a book. Shit. By 2025, nigga, I need to have my name somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I need to be noticed by 2025. I'm on that timing. I'm not rushing shit because time is time and the shit gonna come. But but I'm pushing myself, you know what I'm saying, to make sure I'm there by 2025. You know what I'm saying? Not right at the end of 2024, but you know what I'm saying, January, February, March, around that time, I need yeah. to be yo. But shit, in five years, nigga, I need to be on some land, chilling mm-hmm. with my own studio. You know what I'm saying? Am I happily... Very beautiful girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And hopefully some kids with some four wheelers and you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. I'm chill, you know what I'm saying? But yo. So my boy basically is keeping it simple. He said he wanted a lady, his kids, some four wheelers, some land, and a studio, you know what I'm saying? On the land, cause that just makes shit easier, you know what I'm saying? I think we all on the same page to just getting out of the city, you know what I'm saying, and getting a good plot of land. I think that's like the go to. If you ain't doing that shit, if you want to live in the city, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? You might just be a city type of person. But um, me personally and him, we go out to the country, you know what I'm saying, somewhere and have that shit all laid out, you know what I'm saying, have a couple acres, you know what I'm saying, that, and a couple dogs, you know what I'm saying, that shit be fine, you know what I'm saying? Um, what do we just shoot here today so you let them know so they could be on the watch out, um, stay in tune, you know what I'm saying, with your drops? What do we just drop? Hey, be in tune for that. Be in tune for that. Cut my lights. You know what I'm saying? I'm really speaking that hot shit and cut my lights, and I need y'all to sit down and listen to that shit. Listen to what the fuck I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? All eyes on me. R.P. Tupac. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 there and it's coming. And I I promise you, after today, it's over with. For every rap nigga in the game, it's over with. I'm finna put my foot on y'all niggas, and y'all niggas is done for. Promise. You know what I'm saying? That's the last word from 10K. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we shot Cut My Lights, you know what I'm saying? Directed by, you know, yours truly, Gator Drew. It'll be presented by Inside Club Club. It's hot than a motherfucker. I don't know how my boy got a thermal on and the goddamn Carhartt overalls, but 
Shit, we got to get about this sun, y'all. So we going to sign out. It's your boy Gator Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool, man. Peace.